Today, we will be learning how to insert a chart into a Microsoft Word document. The first thing we'll do is open a new Microsoft Word document, as I have opened now. Next, we'll select from the Insert tab, Chart. You may now choose which chart you want to use. Different charts are used for different purposes. For example, column charts are used for charting things that happen one time or for single event. Line charts show trends over a period of time, and area charts display changes in value or percentages over time. For this example, we'll use the column chart. There are several different options you can pick from as far as columns. You can show a column in the flat style as shown here. You can show it as a rectangle. You can show it as a triangle. For this example, we'll use the flat style. Once you select OK, an Excel spreadsheet will open next to the Word document in which you can edit the data that's associated with the chart. As you can see, the categories are shown at the bottom of the chart. The series, which you can't see in this, um, in this example, but you'll see once we make changes, the series represents each color of the chart. This right here is the data that's associated with the chart. To change the appearance of the columns, you will change the values in these columns and rows, and the data should change immediately, like so. To change the categories, you'll just type over each category in column A. As you can see, the data has changed immediately. To change the series, which will represent which color means what, you just type over the series. If you'd like to add more bars to this example, you right click on any column that's within this example, right click on any row, insert, and as you can see, immediately a new series opens up. As you can see, the changes take place immediately. To add more animals to this example, as you can see I'm using, you right click on the column and another column will appear. We'll change the data now. If you'd like to add labels to your chart, that'll display what each column represents. Right-click on the chart, select Add Data Label, and as you can see, the changes take place 
immediately. If you'd like to change the title of the chart, which is used to identify exactly what you're referencing, right click on the free area of the chart and select Insert Caption. Once you select Insert Caption, you can type into this box right here changes will take place immediately or you can change the label because this figure one is automatic you can change it to something different to my chart household pets you can make a new label can you see it changes you can delete this extra one that you have here. Or you can delete delete the label altogether. But for this example, we'll add a new label. As you can see, the caption for the chart has appeared at the bottom. If you'd like, you can change the color of the chart. For this option, you would go to the Design tab. And as you can see, there are several options for you to use to change the color of the chart. You can select from blue different shades of blue, different shades of red, different shades of green, and purple. As you can see right here, you can change the chart where the background is dark and there's a 3D appearance. Those are other things you can do to change the appearance of the chart. After you've altered the appearance of the chart, you can also name it internally by clicking on this text box named Chart Title. We can name it once again Household Text. Other options that are available to you are to change the type of chart that you want to use. In order to do that, we right click on the chart and select Change Chart Type. As discussed earlier, there are several options that we can use to change this chart. Let's experiment with the line chart. I'll select this option and we'll see what happens. As you can see, the chart has changed to a line chart. Let's select another one to see what happens. Let's choose pie chart. At this point, we've chosen a pie chart to see the differences in pets in each state. The legend still appears on the right side of the chart. Let's try one more time to change the appearance of the chart. This time, we'll select the 3D cone option. Although harder to read, 
this shows what happens when you change the view to a 3D cone chart. For appearance purposes, let's change it back to a regular flat column chart. Now we can change the appearance of the chart by changing the font that's associated with this chart. Right click on the chart, select font, and this will give you different options for changing the font. We'll just use a pretty general font. As you can see, the font has changed immediately, but not the font of the whole chart. You'll have to change all of these individually. For each one, you just right click and select the font that you'd like to use. As you can see, the changes take place immediately. You can also get the background color of it. Do this, right click on the chart, format area, no option here. You can push no fill, and it will disappear. You can select solid fill, and whatever color you'd like to choose is what will appear behind your chart. You can change the border that surrounds the the solid in which you select them, select the style of border you use. Select how wide you like it to be. And as you see, there's a surround chart. The background color has filled in. Hello.